Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. And as you've been following along, we've been doing some work on that little 40 horsepower four-stroke Mercury. And it's ready to actually go back to the owner, but I can't send it out looking quite this bad. What we're gonna to do today is focus on getting the old decal stripped off and then getting new ones applied. So let me go grab a heat gun and a couple other tools and I'll show you a couple of techniques on how to do this. So let's go. First, we're gonna start off with a heat gun. Now the trick is to heat it up to the point it breaks down the adhesive, but doesn't completely melt the decal. That way you can actually peel it off. It doesn't take a lot of heat, but this is a time consuming process. When you're heating it up, you should be able to see the edges starting to pull up. When they do that, at that point, you can go ahead and try to peel it back. I would imagine the mercury section is going to be a little bit more challenging because it has so many cracks in it which is going to allow it to tear. At that point we're going to bring out a different tool and I'll show you a different technique that may uh, get the rest of this off pretty quick. See what I'm talking about? Uh, the black section's coming up okay but the rest of it's fragmenting as we go along. What we're going to use next is called a decal stripping wheel. You can pick those up at a uh, paint shop. A lot of auto parts uh, stores carry them as well. And of course online. It's like a big eraser for decals. So far, so good. Next, we're going to use some contact cleaner, brake cleaner. Continue to remove the, the adhesive and whatever residual bits of decal are still on there. I think we're going to go back with the, the wheel one more time, take off that glue, and then we'll come back with the contact cleaner to finish it off. And as you can see, we've got most of the decal removed along with the associated glue. And at this point, we can go ahead and finish prepping the surface with a degreaser and wax remover. Now this one is in fairly rough shape as far as the rest of the paint is concerned. And if I were going for a completely new finish, I would sand this down and repaint it. But honestly, we're just trying to make it look a little bit better. So what we're going to do after the decals are applied, we'll come back and try to compound this out the best we can and just to give it a little bit more appeal. But if you want to go through the, the painting process, I mean, have at it. But this one, we, we're just trying to overall bring it up a notch. We're not going for perfection. We just want it to be a little bit more presentable. All I have here is a degreaser and wax removal spray. You can use a credit card, but I would suggest you pick up a decal squeegee. That's all this is. What I have here is just water mixed with just a few drops of dishwashing um, detergent or liquid. And we're gonna spray that on there and that's gonna give us a surface to where we can position the decal and then get it squeegeed into position. Let's start working that water and soap mixture out. As you're pulling it back, make sure that you're getting all the air bubbles out before you remove this outer film. Alright guys, well now you get the idea. I still have to complete the process for the other decals and when I'm done, I'll set it out in the sun for several hours to allow the glue to really set and hold those decals in position. Well, if you need any parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at Boats.net and we can get you taken care of. And hey, you like what you see? 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.